Hello everyone and welcome to Best Side Cycling. As most adventures do in Hong Kong, we start out on the MTR subway. Here is how I travel and today we're heading over to the countryside starting from Ma'an San Station. Hey, I'm here with uh, Paul and we're gonna be out here riding along the coastline over to Sam Chung. So uh, this is the view from over here and let's roll out. As we're heading over to the remote village of Sam Chung, we're gonna be headed from the last train station that we were just at Ma'an San following the coast. This whole route is about like 10 miles or so, not too far. But yeah, definitely it's going to be a bit of an adventure and the Brompton makes for an awesome bike for this mainly because of it's how small it is and the tight turning radius that it has. Uh, there's just a lot of narrow paths that we're going to be dealing with as well as you'd be surprised that the Brompton deals well with gravel. But anyway, let's get going. <laughs> But of course, sometimes we had to walk our bikes. <laughs> Not all of it was actually fully paved and and even like just hike down some stairs as we try to reach all the little nooks of all the nice viewpoints. As we yeah, we're here at another pier and you can see there's this nice little viewpoint of where we just started <laughs> and then with the bikes hanging up. And yeah, we've been taking a lot of very fun, almost looks like paved single track sort of roads. But yeah, you can see it's now the sun's out. It's a beautiful day. And as we keep going here, what's surprising is that we pass by a lot of these sort of residential areas and like there's like this strong juxtaposition between all this nature and then you just see like some new and nice cars here like a BMW and things. I mean compared to the urban centers, this is like super sparse but still I find it super interesting how um, really Hong Kong's just expanding so much. And like there's like these sort of living quarters here that's like really a mix of countryside and like dense urban environments. But nonetheless, yeah, as we keep going along here, we do pass by a lot of these sort of residential sort of areas. There's like no shops or anything around here, but it is a little uh, different as we just keep rolling along and going on our way along the coast. <laughs> So I'm rolling over what appears to be these plastic boards that are sort of warped. So that was sort of interesting. And then after that, this next section features some proper gravel. And because I don't really have too much extra materials, I decided to just walk over it uh, just to make sure I don't get into any puncture trouble. But yeah, definitely a bit of adventure here as we're getting closer to our destination. And with that, we finally made it here to Sham Cheng. This is a Hakka village that is really, really remote out here. And there's like this huge wide green field with just uh, water in between. Just fun fact about this area is that uh, really, this is really out already into like the countryside sort of thing. And I think originally they had a golf course that was slated to be here in the early 2000s. But those plans were eventually scrapped and this area is just sort of left as is. So basically, we're going to just go up there, uh, take a quick stop, and then uh, see what we have to explore around us as there's still more coming up. See behind me, but even more impressive is just the view behind us. So you can just see, like, this doesn't really look like Hong Kong anymore. It's uh, all green, serene, and uh, not really anyone else in sight. So really haven't seen this open grass field before. But yeah, so we're going to sort of hang out here for a while, but enjoy these sights and... Uh, <laughs> this this pretty much only can be reached by biking because I don't think there's any real main roads that go all the way out here. So what I understood, the area that we were just in had the f only place where there's people occupying. A lot of these other buildings are really old and yeah, have been long since it's been abandoned as you can just sort of see here. So definitely 
this is now going into a bit of a spooky vibe and tour, but uh, Paul was more than eager to show me just all these, yeah, these old buildings, how uh, they've just been taken over by nature as we gonna explore a little bit and see what we find right ahead of us. Bonjour. <laughs> wow. Let's see the cake. Cake which is the school. Chai horror film, Wow, see. <laughs> Someone's living in here. Nice. Oh. <laughs> well, last dinner is pretty. Hunting yeah, and sing, sing, don't come home. Thanks for following me out here to the Hong Kong countryside. If you enjoyed that video, please roll over the like button and subscribe. But otherwise, I think that's where we're going to end it off at today. And I'll see you all in the next video.